Construction has already started on the road, but this weekend, federal and provincial representatives, along with municipal leaders from a number of Labrador communities, gathered to officially mark the start of work on the Trans-Labrador Highway. This work is being done with money from both the federal and provincial governments. Both Transportation Minister Ron Daw and MP Bill Rompke cut a log as a symbol of the start. And they both reiterated their commitments to see that the road is completed. I think what we have to do, what the people of Labrador have to do, what the uh, provincial politicians and, and the bureaucracy has to do, as well as the federal people, is to make sure that uh, we don't let this, that there isn't even a slowdown, and that we have a, an agreement in place prior to the end of this present agreement. So, the commitment is there. Now all the people in Labrador have to do is wait for the politicians to reach other agreements. So the Trans-Labrador Highway does indeed become a reality. It's taken three years and $16 million to build this road. Along with being the start of the long dreamed of road link across Labrador, it meant that people in Western Labrador could travel into the country. The road isn't in the best shape. There are washouts and occasionally your vehicle can get stuck in the holes, as was the case with this man. The way they're going now, it'll probably cost them a fortune to try to get the road straightened out again. So far this year, the road has only been graded once. A highways department spokesman says that because the road wasn't considered open, no money was allotted for maintenance work. But people here say unless something is done to the road now, government could lose its $16 million investment. And they say that kind of loss is just not acceptable. Jacinta Wall, CBC News, in Western Labrador.